Hi everybody. So it is about halfway through 2012 and I thought I would check in on what's going on with the Mayan calendar. Uh, when I started this channel it's because I'd won a scholarship with some scientists based on some work I'd been doing with the science of frequencies into the rainforest. Um, and they were all experts on the Mayan calendar. Um, Terence McKenna, Alexander Shulgin, they were also there. Anyway, I only knew the Mayans to be these kind of barbaric uh, beings that sacrifice people, but obviously knew about math and the stars. They all, many of them I should say, believed that the Mayans were astronauts that came from another solar system and that the calendar was in essence a communication device to let us know that we were going to go online, you could say, with other beings around the universe when 2012 hit and that's what it was all about, us coinciding with this opening up of like alien internet, I guess is what you could call it. Okay. These are not my ideas, I'm just sharing what the scholars of the Mayan calendar had said to me. Okay, as you know, if you've done any studying or watched any of the movies about 2012, there's also a lot of theories that it's the end of the world, that um, we're entering the dark rift, the black hole, and people are afraid that possibly this could cause a, a, a pole shift or some other kind of catastrophe that would end up killing many people on Earth. That's one of the theories. Uh, the other theory is that we're entering a new age of enlightenment, that we're coming to a breaking point as a uh, species and our consciousness has to change for us to prosper. Okay, both really um, interesting uh, ideas and can be backed up by all sorts of, you know, if you want to believe one thing, you can find enough to believe it, okay? Even the alien part where there's new glyphs that came out where there's saucers and, and alien beings on it. And I was like, oh my goodness, you know, and of course a change in the calendar. And, you know, but it's just as likely um, that they're not true and that they were planted. So, where do you stand and what do you do as we're halfway through on our way to something that has been heralded as possibly a disaster for, for the planet? People have been uh, upping their prepping. Shows like uh, Doomsday Preppers, Doomsday's Hoarders have really capitalized on people's fear. I think it's a great idea to prep because, let's face it, I don't think you should ever depend on anybody um, in a situation that's a crisis because you just don't know if you'll be able to get help from somebody. So of course you should be able to help your family, like you should have health insurance. You know, you never think you're gonna get an illness, and hopefully you never will, but that's why you have health insurance, okay? Well, same reason why people put food away and water away, health, you know, medical supplies, just in case, so they can be self-sufficient. That's a great idea, always. Anyway, so where are we then? Okay. Well, one of the most fascinating things I thought about my research, uh, into the Mayans and the Mayan calendar had to do with Terence McKenna's time uh, zero wave theory and uh, you know the novelty uh, issue where he said in 2012 we were looking at possibly the most novel possibility ever occurring on the planet. I mean what could that be right? He thought it may be time travel. And if that were true, many of the other things that went along with the predictions of the Mayan calendar would also be true. For instance, um, if we suddenly invented time travel in the next six months or it came out that it had been invented, then all we know about time and space and quantum mechanics would, would change and um, us dying or living and how many years would also change because if we could go forward or back, time would change, age, all of that, okay, out of the third dimension. So. My question is to you is, have you seen anything? Is there anything that's sticking out to you that this is a different year? I mean, I know I look back a couple years ago and there was all the threat about the H1N1 virus and us going to war with Iran and um, those didn't happen. And uh, right now there's still threats around the world and, you know, revelation-like issues going on with Damascus and whatnot. Um, but I'd like to throw that out to you. Do you see any reason to be afraid about 2012 or hopeful about 2012? Or is this date turning out to be maybe kind of like 
a self-reflection where you look at your life and say, well, if I wasn't going to live, what would I do different? And if I only had this much time, how do I want to spend it? Because that'll certainly throw you back into the most important things in your life, like love and family, uh, forgiveness. Um, but once again, uh, I don't see anything in particular different in this year, um, other than pe more people waking up, which is awesome. So. I'd like to know what you see and if you think that in the next six months we're going to get um, a heck of a wake-up call one way or the other. Okay, thanks everybody and have a wonderful day.